Pizza has been one of the most preferred fast food since its introduction. But have you ever tried Domino's Pizza? There are a lot of other retail franchises selling pizza like the other prominent brand Pizza Hut. If you have tried pizza before, might know that Domino's is the most preferred among its competitors. But why? Why do people prefer Domino's over other pizza brands? Why does Domino's have more outlets and market share in the industry? Let's find out. Domino's Pizza is an American transnational pizza eatery that's now the largest pizza chain innovated in 1960, with its bases in Michigan. Domino's unfurled its first transnational store in 1983 in Canada, tracked by Washington, the United Kingdom and Tokyo, and also sluggishly augmenting worldwide. Domino's opened its 1,000th outlet in India in 2016, outside the United States. India has the largest number of Domino's outlets in the world. In 2009, Domino's was driving through a rough phase. It was confronting a counter-reaction that was losing visitors and floundering to hold its character and whatever was left. Its stake worth was at least which is 3 USD per share. At that time, Domino's was individually about bad pizza. The worst part was that to acknowledge their 30 nanosecond delivery promise, they were employing firmed, banal, and canned vegetables which is not a good shape for a food business, right? That was not all. Domino's also faced colonial media counter-reaction in 2009 when two of their employees posted a video about the horrendous impacts they do before bearing the sandwiches, exhibiting it on videotape. This videotape went viral and flared like a campfire. Within hours, the damage was done, and everyone could see the alarming and appalling videotape of Domino's over the internet. Indeed, if one explored Domino's, they would only see the news about the videotape on Google at the time. Does it feel like a trademark that can persist in the request after such a counter-reaction? The most considerable pizza chain is also down from what it looks, but anything is achievable with great marketing and revamping its old ways. So what did Domino's do? They released a press notice fending themselves and illustrating their adherence to food safety and hygiene. Do you think it toiled? Well, not due to the counter-reaction and bad sermons on social media, if the personality is getting damaged on social media. Also, the act should be taken on social media and not on other 4A, as the individuals who are censuring should know that they are trying to update and do better. But the worst part was that at that time, Domino's was not indeed had a social media patrol. The demand share was fleetly declining as visitors abominated their pizza indeed after the pledge to revamp and do better because the communication wasn't delivered duly. That's when J. Patrick Doyle joined in as the CEO, who helped in the way of making Domino's the largest pizza chain. He stayed Domino's CEO from 2010 to 2018. And that's when the real change happened. They ran We Are Sorry Crusade, and that changed the game altogether for Domino's. Under this crusade, they released a videotape where Doyle said they can use negative commentary to get them down or use them to excite and amp the process of making better pizzas. They chose the ultimate. The whole idea was to work on the bad corridor and get better. Rather than making a reasonable and shoving off the review, they embraced their failings and worked on them. That proactive trade move easily demonstrates how important it is to be evident, and it aided in the course of getting the largest pizza chain juncture. He also pitched a rather counterintuitive statement crusade to address the pizza quality problem. The announcement participated in commentary from pundits about their product and they were bad. Some of the mentions were the worst pizza they ever have, the flavoring tasted like ketchup, and the crust flavored like cardboard. Still, Doyle himself materialized in the promotions, apologized, and vowed to work day and night to ameliorate their pizza. Their crusade bettered people's perception of the brand. His crusade was a bold move, and it paid off guests began to see the business in a better light. And shortly, the quality of their pizza rose to match client contenders. The alternate round of revolution began at Domino's when J. Patrick Doyle reminded everyone that Domino's was not just in the pizza-making business, but in the pizza delivery relations too. That implied they had to focus on technology and conveyance. So Doyle simplified the delivery vans by ensconcing warming ranges. He also had a pizza tracking app developed using which customers could be a part of the complete delivery cycle. This made the strategy more transparent. Doyle leveraged social media to outstretch the communication that their label was overhauled in a big way. And all of this aided Domino's turn effects around. 
President and CEO J. Patrick Doyle pivoted the chain around so nattily and efficiently by heeding the client's deliberation and laboring to make their pizza more. He not only altered the quality of their spin-off, but also incorporated digital fabrication and transcended its delivery services. Domino's now employs further individuals in IT than in any other branch of the company. Because of its focus on IT, half of its accords come from the digital venue. Domino's also holds track of its customers' prerogatives and choices. When a customer calls to order, they are saluted by their name. This makes them feel happy and important. The individual taking the order can also see once orders and aid them to choose equivalent bones. They can also give their recommendations consequently, making the customer feel exceptional and having a smooth ordering venture. Domino's uses a single POS to dominate its interaction. POS is known as the point of trade system. The POS design adds touchscreen ordering, computerized motorist routes, detail ordering, pizza shadowing, order queuing, custom online pizza ordering, and configuration. Unlike other firms, Domino's does not outsource their tech, but their platoon pitched the design themselves. And that is the same system being used by all of their votes, making it more straightforward and effortless to collect, store, and retain all the data demanded. All this confirms Doyle's statement correctly about existing in the pizza delivery business, and not just the pizza-making business. Domino's is the world's largest pizza chain, with more than 17,000 outlets across the world and a market capital of 17.6 billion USD. The Domino's chain did not stop operating after they achieved a high part of the character but kept on working continuously to get better. Some of their approaches to getting better are Domino's Anywhere. This was a crusade to make it easy for the client to order from anywhere, rather than making people come to them. Domino's came up with the ordering installation that can enable ordering from the device and the platforms used by the guests. Domino's Anywhere incorporates ordering with a tweet, a text, forward sync, smart TVs, and smartwatches. Some other mediums were Google Home, Amazon's Echo, Facebook Messenger, an Apple or Android smartwatch, and a linked auto. This made opting for a pizza like opting for a pizza emoji. Domino's came up with the idea to remain on trend and attract visitors by landing the long-haired super stud from Stranger Effects as their visionary. It is not as tricky as we frequently tend to think, but rather moderately simple to blossom your business. Hear your customers and act on their feedback. Domino's knew the commodity was inaccurate, and they accepted the fact that they were required to work on it, so they decided to act. Rather than conducting a series of top position meetings in an air-conditioned room or in-depth analysis or, most importantly, coming up with numerous specialized offers, they preferred the old yet straight and simple method, hitting the thoroughfares, gathering the feedback, and working on the pizza accordingly. With this guideline, Domino's illustrated that to truly understand their customers' needs, they demanded to go beyond a check. They demanded to confront and interact with them directly. Today, Domino's, the most famous pizza chain, has venues all around the world. Its substantial market capital and fast delivery technique have donated to the brand's triumph, which has also aided the establishment to defeat its contenders. Originally, this notion was designed as a formal pizzeria that would serve its consumers. Nonetheless, due to a lack of space, the creators presented an optional delivery method that has earned swiftness over the years. Today, more than 60% of customers desire to order online instead of stepping outside. Domino's has been a pioneer in creating numerous ingenious technologies that have revolutionized the consumer experience through its delivery system, which stays its strongest consumer assistance benefit even today. With a market share of over 1423 billion USD, Domino's has stood the trial of time and persisted to serve its consumers by innovating and rebranding the business to alter according to the generation's requirements. The business rebranded its insignia in 2013 and enhanced its online ordering system so consumers could hold their favored pizzas and order a pizza within 30 seconds. With an appetite for innovation, in 2016, the firm tested self-driving pizza delivery conveyances in New Zealand. In 2021, Domino's cooperated with NeuroR2 Delivery AV to deliver pizzas via driverless autos in America. Today, it is the 50th most favored pizza in America and maintains the second largest market stake in the country.
Tom Monaghan knew he desired to be victorious. However, even he had not forerun the success that Domino's would evolve in the years to come. While he produced a few sloppy judgments during his time, he worked tirelessly to get sound results and fetch innovation to an industry that was stuck in its ancient ways. Do you think Domino's has done a good job in reaching the top? Comment down what you think is the best pizza chain of your choice. Will you choose Domino's over other pizza brands? And which is the most known pizza brand in your country? Until then, adios.